देश के आर्थिक योजनाएं सामाजिक बदलाव का आधार बनती हैं जीवन सुगमता को नीतियों का आधार बनाकर प्रत्येक देशवासी का जीवन खुशहाल हो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी की इसी संकल्पना को साकार कर रही हैं केंद्रीय वित्त मंत्री माननीय श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारमन मैं माननीय वित्त मंत्री से साधन अनुरोध करती हूं कि अपने विचारों से हमें अनुग्रहित करें नमस्कार मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टेड ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी my colleagues in the council of ministers who are on the dais my colleagues in the council of ministers who are virtually joining us today from different parts of this large country officers media personnel and more importantly all those craftsmen people who work with their hands and with minimum tools who for centuries have added glory to this country vishwakarma lok to all of you all my humble respects <clears throat> today september 17th is marked as vishwakarma jayanti it is the day when we worship Lord Shri Vishwakarma In our country Vishwakarma is considered to be the person who created everything around us He is the master craftsman He is the one who gives skills of all kinds to our people And that is why Vishwakarma Jayanti is a very important day which denotes which stands for those skills with which our economy in small groups at the panchayat level at the town level have all had self sufficiency we had our own blacksmiths who made things out of iron and metal we had our own jewelers who made our jewels we had our own potters who made our pots and household equipments we had our own silver and other workers and for those of us who live next to a river or to a seashore even fish nets were made by these able nimble hands so these crafted well skilled people lived around us with us along with us and they actually made our economy very self sufficient and very productive that is why even 500 years ago india could be the world leader and an endowed rich economy whose products were sought after world over and such skilled locally present skilled craftsmen had steadily been forgotten but when in 2014 you had our prime minister come with one very important slogan sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas sabka prayas it was very clear it was very clear that every one of the schemes every one of the programs that honorable prime minister modi brought about was to address such sections of people who are belonging to a far flung societies who don't live close to the capitals of state governments or the country's capital new delhi but who contribute silently to the economy these are actually the people who have never had benefits given to them from governments but who kept doing their good work so in order to reach out to them every program that honorable prime minister has come up with has always benefited small 
very economically weaker, backward communities, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, and people who are desperately in need of some assistance. That is why, let me call before you the Prime Minister Financial Inclusion Scheme, Jan Dan Yojana, took bank accounts to everybody's houses. Similarly, Mudra Yojana took small, completely guaranteed loans for small businesses. And I'm happy to say today, more than 60% pe of people, 60 out of every 100, who benefited from Mudra Yojana are small business women. Women benefited out of this scheme. And when I emphasize, emphasize on women, it is because when women want to do their business, they don't have money of their own, they don't know how to give security, are they to remove that one little gold chain that their parents gave at the time of marriage? Or should they take money from the uh, father or from their son or husband? Prime Minister Modi at that time itself said very clearly, I'm your guarantee, you will get this loan from the bank and it will be collateral free. That benefited women. So whether it is Jantan Yojana, Mudra Yojana, I'll come to the next, Swanidhi. It helps all the street vendors. The street vendors also do, every morning they come with some material, sell it off and go back in the evening. Who gives them any loan? And when they give them loan, the middlemen charge them very high interest. So Swanidhi was also tailored to benefit small people, small businesses. Similarly, the stand-up loan, again, it was to focus on SCs, STs, and women, and who don't live in cities, who live in far-flung areas, wherever there was a branch of a bank, that branch had to give to SC, ST, and women, at least one from each of these categories. The reason why I'm explaining this in such detail is to highlight the fact that every one of Prime Minister Modi's schemes has been aimed at reaching those who have never been reached by institutions which can give them some assistance so that they can take business forward, they can meet their aspirations, so that the economy benefits from their contribution. Today, Coincidentally, when it is Honorable Prime Minister's birthday, Vishwakarma Jayanti Day, this scheme which is going to benefit all the artisans of this country, those who work with their hands, those who produce beautiful, gorgeous goods, those who produce those economic tools, are the ones who are now being aimed at. Now, there are some areas in this country which have cars in the name of Vishwakarma. They may also benefit. But beyond that, those who do work with their hands and tools are now Vishwakarma for the purpose of this loan. All people who work with their hands and produce goods are Vishwakarmas. So the vision of our Prime Minister to give them that status of a Vishwakarma and to make sure that they get assistance, timely assistance, so that they can also prosper. I'll just explain in very short form what the scheme actually would mean. And first of all, the list of people who will get covered by this. I'm sure many of you all know it covers 18 such activities. But for the benefit of those people who are virtually joining us, I like to read it out. It will include carpenters, it will include boat makers, those who make small tools, blacksmiths, hammer and tool kit makers, locksmiths, those who make locks, goldsmiths, 
those who make jewelry, potters, those who work with mud to create utensils, stone sculptors, stone breakers, cobblers, those who make shoes, masons, who in the north are called mysteries, in the south are called maestries, basket, mat, and broom makers, choir weavers, doll and toy makers, traditional that is, barbers, garland makers, washermen, tailors, and fishnet makers. Now all these people will be given up to three lakhs of rupees. How will they be verified? How will they be identified? They will be identified through three layer verification. One at the Gram Panchayat level, one at the district collector level, and the final one at the state level. There are committees which are going to be identifying these people and making the final list. I said three lakhs will reach the account. First, one lakh will reach them first, which will be repaid in a term of 18 months. And then you will get the second uh, two lakhs, second tranche, which will be two lakhs. This loan will be given at a very affordable rate of 5% only. <laughs> Government of India, through the MSME ministry, will give a subsidy of up to 8%. Government will bear that eight, up to 8% interest. So it is a subsidized amount being given. Now, so what does this scheme give you? It gives you skills. Um, Honorable Minister MSME very clearly explained. Five-day skilling program. Each day you will get a 500 rupees stipend. And you will also be given modern tools. The tool kit which is being given is given as 15,000 rupees for the toolkit through e-rupee, where a digitization is also coming in as an element. Then you will be connected to market. You will also become entrant, entrant into government e-marketplace, which is the gem portal through which every department in government buys its goods. So your products will also get exhibited there. And then you will also be facilitated to access globe, global markets. So collateral fee loan and many other such things are also being extended. So this scheme being launched today on Vishwakarma Jayanti is one such a thing through which Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas is getting fulfilled. And Prime Minister Modi has made sure in the last nine years that there shall not be even one section which will remain untouched without the benefit of his schemes reaching them. Today, this scheme in the budget of 23-24 has been given 13,000 crores of rupees so that it can reach the common Vishwakarma low. So, Today, I am very humbled and honored to participate in this function in which Honorable Prime Minister shall launch this program to benefit all those artisans who for centuries have helped this country as a big soft power producing some of the finest products. Today is the day when the government is giving back that honor to you. Thank you very much. Bharat Mataki, Jay.